guys stepping into another video right here the creek fishing continues this time we're going to be straight waiting we literally only have about 20 to 30 minutes before a storm lets loose on us so uh it's gonna have to happen quick out here probably make this a multi-part episode just so we can uh you know fill it with as many catches as we possibly can because we don't have all that much time so uh Hopefully this little first part of the video is productive before the storm. Gonna be waiting a different part than you saw in our first video out here and we're gonna see what we can get. Again, we're gonna be using the rooster tails. Favorite creek bait. A large mount. Wait, did you catch a large mount? No, it was a chub. Got one. Got him. Woohoo! First fish of the evening. Up what the heck is this? Biggins. Oh yeah, double smallies. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Mine's got you beat by a solid ounce, maybe? I'm not even. Look at the size of these smallies we've been catching out here, guys. <laughs> Lunkers. But first fish of the evening for us right there. Hopefully the first of many. Oh, I had one. It really is amazing how quick these things are to catch up to our baits because we're burning them right above the rocks. And these fish are way faster. That, that black thing? I don't know. Holy crap. What is that? A trout? That's a trout. Yes, sir. First ever brown trout <laughs> for Maddie. Awesome. Look at that beautiful wow, trout, that man. Cool. That's your first brown ever, right? Wet yeah. your hand, they're really fragile. I got, I literally got my first brown trout right here last year, and we were hoping for one of these on this trip. We'll show you guys. Look at, Look that. at that beautiful brown trout. That's the same exact thing that happened to me too, but you guys saw it right there. First ever brown for Maddie. nice job. I wasn't gonna like squeeze him harder. Yeah. Ah, oh, but at least, it, I mean, yeah, I yeah. kind of knew he was gonna flop out. At least you guys saw him right there for a minute anyway. Sweet. There's not many brown trout in here, but there are a few. And we had never ever caught them before. Last year I caught one. Unfortunately, it wasn't on camera, but at least we got Maddie's on camera right there. Literally had red spots on it. Yeah, they look like, uh, you guys know the old Wonder Bread packaging? That's what it looks like on the side of those browns on the small ones anyway. He hit it super hard, I could tell. Yeah guys, that thing is not stocked. That thing is not placed here. That is a natural little brown trout right there. What is that? A rocko. rocko. <laughs> the rain has started on us here. You guys probably can't see it yet, but uh, it is certainly starting to come down a little bit. We got a ways to go before we get back to where we are staying at along the creek here. We're hoping we don't get poured on out here, but uh, these are the sacrifices you have to make to catch the giants like we're catching out here. We should probably be heading back now, but I want to catch a couple more fish, but this rain is really starting to pour on us. Should be able to yank a couple out of this pool. That rain is cold too. It's like getting a cold shower when you don't want to. Oh, another one. Is that? No. It's a largemouth. It's a baby largemouth. Look at that. That is some cool micro fishing. Baby largemouth. Look at this, guys. This might be the smallest largemouth bass I've ever caught. Look at the lateral line on that thing. Very pronounced and prominent. Probably like a three to four inch largemouth bass right there. Check them out. Unreal. See ya, buddy. Pretty cool spot when you can catch Brown trout, large mouth, creek chubs, small mouth, plenty of other species too that we have not caught yet tonight. That's my seventh species of this trip so far, and we've only been fishing since last night, so in less than 24 hours, we've pulled seven species out of this creek. Actually eight between the two of us. Maybe even nine, I don't even know. It's literally like an ice shower right now, man, with this disgustingly cold rain coming down but we're catching fish so we're gonna stay out as long as it's not any harder than this and uh 
as long as there's no thunder and lightning, you obviously want to be smart with that. It's right here. There he is. There's two of them. Three of them. I think they're Rocco's. They were swarming me. Oh, there they are again. We're going to get one of them. <laughs> nah. -uh. I'm getting thumped. There he is. Gigantor. What is that? Small mo, small jaw. <laughs> I mean, look at that. <laughs> Woo! This is a little sketchy, guys. I mean, look how deep this hole is. And we're going under the wood. Holy crap. I hope this thing doesn't come down all the way. <laughs> it just goes. I got him. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's a nice smallie. Nice, or is that a huge rock bass? What is that, a smallie? It's a walleye. What? <laughs> Stop it. That is a nice little smallie right there, a little chunky guy. Definitely, easily, my best fish of the night. Why is he so spiny? He's hurting me. He's trying to injure me. He's trying to kill me. Comment down below. 500 likes on this video and I'll make this the thumbnail for the video. I can change it after it's posted. <laughs> uh, nice little smallie right there though. Definitely a chunky one. Sayonara, brother. Oh, he crushed that. What the heck is this? Please be a rock bass. I really want a rock bass. What is that? Another smallie, I will take that for sure. She is about to spawn. Yeah, she's about to explode. This thing is so fat, it's crazy. It'd be nice if they like were big and and fat, but they're just small and fat. But who cares? It's a lot of fun anyway. Another little small guy. See a bud. Whoa! We have found the honey hole here. I think another smallie. Yes, yes, yes. Number four on the night. I've never caught so many smallies in one day in my life. This one is super cool looking. He's got like just a pure like uh, pattern to him on the side there. No distinct pattern, just one solid thing, like kind of like a carp. But there is a bunch of smallies just loaded right here. Also the rain stopped for the moment, so that's nice. He is on. We're keeping him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue this video. It is the next morning, last night. Unfortunately, that rain event really just kind of ruined the night as far as fishing goes, and we were not able to get back out there. But uh, this morning, the water is still clear. It didn't rain that much, um, enough to really muddy it up here at all. So we're gonna see if we can continue to get on these fish this morning. It's about nine o'clock right now, so hopefully we can find that good morning bite using a uh, Strike King Bitsy Minnow today. Just changing it up, trying to get something different, and we got one on the first cast. There we go. What is this? Uh, some kind of sunfish. Can't even really tell. I'm thinking some sort of a I don't even know. That is an uh, interesting looking sunfish right there. If you guys know exactly what this is, comment down below. I think it might be a red breast, but it's, uh, the colors aren't too defined yet since it's small. I'm going with that red breast probably. But that's not a bad start. I was thinking maybe the rain turned them off a little bit last night, but that is not the case. One for one. On the Bitsy Minnow, that's cool. We're getting them on something different here. Just got hit again as well. And you guys saw him eat that right there in front of me. Little largemouth. 
Little largey. That is cool, man. Two for two. Two fish already. They're blowing up like crazy. Can we go three for three? Oh, little minnow behind it. No three for three, but fish are certainly active. Two species already this morning. There's another one. That is, uh, what is that? Smalley? Yep, little smalley right there. Four casts this morning, three species right here after the rain moved through last night. And that is a nice little specimen right there, about the size we've been catching to be honest, but still super fun. Obviously the spinner is not the only thing that's going to be working in here because this little white pearl bitsy minnow is tearing it up already. Oh, one's behind it. You saw me though. That's happened quite a few times already on this trip. This is the beauty of kayak fishing, just how stealthy we can be right here because a lot of these fish don't even know we're here. If you were in a boat right here, you wouldn't have a chance. There is something. That was straight off the reaction strike. I bounced this thing off of a rock. We got another tiny smallie. This is easily the best year for smallies we've ever had here. Now I know they're tiny. But in a couple of years, these guys are going to be much bigger, I think, because I've never seen such a successful smally spawn as uh, has happened right here. The number of fish that size in here is just insane. There's nothing that's really feeding on them other than like blue herons and other birds and stuff. But there's no other fish predators really that are going to be eating those guys. So they're thriving right now. This is a really good crawfish imitation, this little bitsy minnow. That side to side wobble really looks like a crawfish like fleeing away from uh, something trying to eat it there. This creek is just absolutely loaded with those crawfish. They're under like pretty much every single rock in here. You turn one over, there's gonna be a big one shooting right out of there. And it looks just like this bitsy minnow with a side to side wobble. As soon as it hit the water, man, they just crushed this thing. Such a fun kind of fishing to do. Look at them right there. Oh, that is just so cool. Third smallie of the morning. I don't even remember how many we caught last night, but in this video, we've been getting into them. I know that. Oh, just take a second and appreciate the coloration of that fish right there. That is something you don't see very often back home in Delaware. Just look at that. Just beautiful. Back down he goes. Got something behind it right there. Creek chub maybe. I'm curious to see if those chubs are going to hit this. Because I don't know if they really eat crankbaits like that. I know they'll hit the spinners obviously. But uh, we'll see if they'll hit it man. right there I saw something blow up a second ago and I'm guessing it was this green sunfish right here wow even the green sunfish are super fun to catch in here they're always super fat look at that big giant stomach on that thing imagine if green sunfish got up to like 10 pounds how hard that fight would be because they hit like a small mouth and they're shaped like a big, fat, largemouth bass. Bitsy Minnow putting in work. Always pretty cool kayaking in this creek because, I mean, just look at the rock structures and everything on the bottom. Just being able to see what you're actually on top of is pretty awesome.
right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know how many smallies I've caught so far on this trip, but it is just ridiculous the number of fish this size. See you, buddy. Now, obviously, there are some big ones mixed in too, because you guys have seen in Maddie's, uh, well, my episode the other day where Maddie caught that probably one and a half pounder, which for in here is just insane. So you never know when you're actually gonna find a big one, but it's uh, weeding through all the small ones first. That was so cool. That thing came up and swiped at it three different times. I saw him just cruising along here, a bluegill, and uh, I threw it right in front of his nose. He was super aggressive towards it and finally ate it the third time right as I was bringing it up to the boat. That was pretty cool, guys. He really ate it too. Got both trebles in there, but he should be just fine. Not gut hooked or anything, just both in the lip. First actual straight up bluegill of the trip. We'll let him right back down here where he was. He's got it. What is this? Seems a little bit better. Nice smallie. Sweet. That is just so cool. Gotta just take in every moment of the uh, fish fighting like this. That clear water is just amazing. The fight of the smallmouth is ridiculous too. I mean, a fish this size fighting like his life is on the line. Super cool, man. These bitsy minnows, I'm telling you, a lot of fun to use in the creeks. You'll get a lot of fish like this, a lot of different species too, along the way. Fish on right there, yes. Another solid smallie. Oh yeah, that is just so much fun. The head shakes and the runs they go on even at this size about the same size as the last one there maybe even a little bigger which is so cool man so so cool they'll spine you too you got to watch out for those spines on top almost like a walleye is what it reminds me of right there they do get you from time to time but absolute tank he's been eating pretty good chub yes we did get a creek chub on this bitsy minnow epic that was cool i was seeing some fish chasing this thing and hitting it a few times like a chub there he is for all you guys to see but uh i wasn't sure if it was actually a chub i thought it might have been a smallmouth. but he finally committed and hit this thing that's something i was curious about as to whether or not they would hit the square bill here in the bitsy minnow but uh as you can see right there they did super cool i think that's how we're going to end out this video here today caught a lot of different fish between this morning and last night on two different baits the rooster tail and the bitsy minnow in that white pearl color right there but we did pretty well out here i'd say if you guys did enjoy the video leave me a thumbs up down below drop a comment and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos push the notification bell so you get notified when we drop a video and as always, guys, thank you just so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.